Hi guys, in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom shortcode or a custom function via shortcode using PHP in WordPress. And you can use this in multiple situations where your team or your user interface does not allow you to put a specific function or an output. In our examples case would be Google AdSense code on a specific location. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys to start off with our quick tutorial I'm just going to explain what we're going to do as you can see on my screen this is our live live uh, bodybuilding magazine that we run and on the header section this is the Google AdSense ad that is showing now in our theme that we were using there was an issue with some JavaScript so the Google ad was not showing through our user interface now in some examples the theme might not have that place where you want or a user interface module where you want to put the ad in hence this example will come in handy or if you want to put an, in a custom function that you want to call in now the example that I'm going to show you is going to be on a live website so for those of you who are working on exam or maybe locally you can follow the steps according to your own settings but I'm gonna go through with the live settings as we do to kick off with I'm going to sign into my C panel so I'm gonna show you that step as well so let's move it on first thing my hosting is with crazy domains with my sensitive information I will be hiding that from the video I'm just gonna to go to log in to my hosting or C panel and we're just gonna wait all right, you need to go to files and file manager. That's basically public HTML where your websites are launched. I've got multiple websites, but you can only see my domain. Once you go inside, you need to go to wp-content folder, then go to the themes. I'm using the news card theme. Go inside it look for the first thing you need to look for is the functions.php file right click code edit you can download it always take a backup I've already done it um, that's why I'm not taking a backup but for you guys always take a backup now go to the bottom and here you will see this is the custom function that I've added now I'll be blurring up my uh, code in it I'm gonna show you an example on my uh, brackies in no so this is how it works the hashtag is basically a comment so this is just for me reminding myself or any any programmer who might be working on the website that what this function is then you write down function and function name it could be any function name that you want to put in then brackets curly bracket open curly bracket close you don't need to be a programmer to do this then use return and then single quotes now all your coding or your function is going to come that you want to the process you want to go do will come under this these single quotes in my case you can put your uh, Google AdSense code once you create the ad unit the code that Google gives you and paste it here semicolon curly bracket closed and then this is the function that we call add underscore short code this is already in WordPress so you don't need to be bothered with it it's got two parameters the first one is basically the shortcodes name that you want to call in in WordPress and the other one the second parameter is the functions name so you can name this function and this function has to be the same and the shortcodes name that when you you'll be calling it will come through this one now any place where you want to call this function in PHP you can go into that that div, uh, div or tag or any structure and just put this code there that is PHP echo do underscore short code and this is where your short code is gonna come the same name as your function I'm gonna show you in the live example now Now coming back here again now in what I've done is I've done added short code with add adsense in post that's where my short code name is and my functions name with insert post and this is my Google's code so once you put this code in just click save and it'll save your function in the functions.php now in my example we wanted to put the ad 
sends in the header section. So going back, I'm going to go to the header.php file, click edit. Again, taking backup, be very careful to take backup. Now scrolling down to the section where we actually did put this uh, banner in, where there used to be a banner here, just an image. So we replaced it with this code php the same one echo do underscore short code and add adsense in post that's the name of the function the uh, the short code that we put in and once saved you'll refresh it and you'll see your ads in or any function at this place now in our example it was the header now in the function section you can do any um, you know coding or anything you want to display maybe you want to run a video or anything but this is just a simple step of uh, you know customizing your theme this is another step to customize your theme and there are limitations to the UI or the place where you want to put in your short code I hope this was helpful to you guys this is just a recurring problem that we face on different projects that we do for clients of our own uh, projects and I thought to share it with you guys as the content is very less available it's not even available on uh, YouTube so I hope this helps you guys and do support our channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook as well and ask us any tutorial you want to have help with. We do cover Android, uh, Android iOS programming, apps and games. We do develop that. We do custom web applications with PHP, Laravel, CodeIgniter and do graphic designing as well. And also we come online for gaming uh, for PUBG. Uh, Call of Duty Mobile, Call of Duty Warzone, GTA 5. So if you guys want to join us there as well, just share your ID and we'll add you and we'll have a game together. Um, I hope you like the tutorial. So if you have any questions or you want any new tutorial, just ping it to me. Take care. Say, be safe. Wash your hands and take social, social distancing. Um, hope you guys are fine and your family's fine. Thank you very much.